After a decade of controversy, a portion of the Sprague Applet couplet in Spokane Valley could go back to two way traffic, and voters may get to decide that. KXOI's Eric Loney live this morning with the details. And Eric, that whole project was controversial pretty much from day one. It really was. 10 years ago, or actually 11 years ago, it went into effect. Back, Spokane County did it back in 2001. Spokane Valley City Council person wants to end this debate once and for all and let voters decide. The council could decide to put it on a ballot on November 8th. They'll make that decision tonight. And what voters would end up deciding on whether they want to return Sprague Avenue and put the center stripe back into it, making it two-way traffic, Sprague and Appleway, from Argon East to University. The portion from Argon West I-90 would remain one-way traffic. Now, the cost, $6.5 million. $3 million would be spent on landscaping, and then $2 million more would be spent on striping and new signals. The city just paid for a $40,000 study. That determined that there would be traffic problems no matter what voters possibly decide. If left one way, that study found that the Sprague University uh, intersection could be a traffic nightmare in 20 years because of the amount of traffic. But if changed back to two-way, that same study found the intersection of Dishman and Appleway would be a problem in 20 years. Now, the council must decide tonight, it, uh, the deadline's tomorrow, in order to get it on that ballot. If approved by voters, they would be paying $8 more per $100,000 of their home's assessed value to pay for this project. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.